It's the most famous dirty snowball in the solar system, and with good reason. Here are five astronomically awesome things about Halley's Comet. Number one, it wasn't discovered by the person it's named after. It's an old custom to name astronomical objects after the first person to observe them, but that was not the case when it came time to name Halley's Comet. The earliest recorded appearance of the comet was on May 25th, 240 BCE by our calendar, but the comet takes its name from Edmund Halley, who lived in the 18th century CE. Halley was the first to realize that the comets which had been appearing in the sky every 75 years or so were, in fact, the same comet. In the year 1705, Halley predicted that the comet, which had last been seen in 1682, would return in the year 1758. Halley died in 1742, but his comet reappeared as predicted in 1758. And when it did, number two, it revolutionized the way we think about comets. Halley's Comet was the first confirmed periodic comet, which means that its orbit around the sun carries it on a path which periodically brings it close to Earth. Prior to that discovery, the ancient Greeks believed that comets originated in Earth's atmosphere. Astronomers in the time of the Renaissance, like Tycho Brahe, were able to prove that comets existed in outer space, but it was still assumed that each separate appearance of Halley's Comet was a unique object, and most people believed that comets crossed our solar system in a straight line rather than circling the Sun in a manner similar to the planets. The recognition of the true nature of Halley's Comet changed all that, but even before people realized that they were being visited by the same comet over and over and over again, Halley's Comet attracted a lot of attention whenever it came around. Number three, its appearances coincided with major events in history. The future Halley's Comet appeared in 1066 and came to be regarded as a good omen by the supporters of William the Conqueror, who defeated King Harold in the Battle of Hastings later that year. That appearance earned the comet a depiction in the Bayou Tapestry. Some believe when the comet appeared in 1222, it inspired Genghis Khan to invade Europe. In 1456, the year of another appearance of the comet, the Ottoman Empire attacked the Christian city of Belgrade. The Pope, fearing the comet had been a sign of the coming wrath of God, ordered all of Christendom to pray for victory. The Ottomans were defeated. And Halley's Comet left its mark on history in ways other than being superstitiously associated with important events. For instance, number four, it inspired great artists. I already mentioned the 1066 appearance of the comet making it into the Bayou Tapestry, one of the most important works of art in Western history. It also appeared in 1301, where it purportedly inspired the great Italian painter Giotto to use it as the model for the Star of Bethlehem in his Adoration of the Magi. 685 years later, when Halley's Comet made its debut during the Space Age in 1986, this image, the first close-up ever taken of the comet's nucleus, was captured by a European Space Agency probe named Giotto. Legendary Renaissance painters and spacecraft named after legendary Renaissance painters are pretty impressive company for a small solar system body, but of course, Giotto is not the only famous Earthling to make the acquaintance of Halley's Comet. How could I possibly end this video without mentioning number five, it was an old friend of Mark Twain. Samuel Clemens, who would write some of the great works of American literature under the pen name Mark Twain, was born on November 30, 1835, two weeks following the last observance of Halley's Comet that year. In 1909, at age 73, Clemens said, quote, I came in with Halley's Comet in 1835. It is coming again next year, and I expect to go out with it. It will be the greatest disappointment of my life if I don't go out with Halley's Comet. Halley's Comet was bright and visible for about a month when it arrived the following year. It came so close that Earth passed through its tail, which caused a bit of a panic after one astronomer warned that the tail contained toxins that would poison the atmosphere. He was wrong, it turns out. Other, more level-headed astronomers took the first photographs of Halley's Comet, including that one back there, which was taken at Mount Wilson Observatory in California. It's always been one of my favorites. Samuel Clemens died on April 21st, about two weeks before that photograph was taken, and one day after the arrival of Halley's Comet. The hardest part is picking only five. Catch you next time. 
Hey folks, hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching.